Welcome to Web Handling. My name is Dave Roysom. In this video, we answer the question, hopefully once and for all, whether spiral grooving spreads. In this trial, we use a simple, endless loop designed and built by Componix. However, you can easily do the same set of experiments on almost any machine in your plant. First, we try a spiral to the left. Nothing is happening. Maybe we need to give it more time. Gal, I'm not sure I see anything happening here. Got any other ideas? Right. Okay, let's try right then. Nothing is happening. Maybe we need to give it more time. Cal, I'm not sure I see anything happening here. Got any other ideas? Great. Let's try spiral raised lands like you often see in carpeting and textiles. Nothing is happening. Maybe we need to give it more time. No matter what we try, spiral doesn't do a thing, whether it is left, right, up, down, in, out, or otherwise. So if the spiral can't move a wimpy thin ribbon, how in the heck is it ever going to muscle a web outward to do spreading? Well, obviously it can't. This is something the web handlers have been trying to teach for decades, that there is no known principle to expect spreading from spirals, and that there is no published evidence that spirals spread. Simply put, it is an optical illusion that has fooled thousands. Yet, the fallacy of spiral spreading keeps rising from the dead like vampires and zombies. I think it is time to drive a stake through the heart of this once and for all. I would like to extend my greatest gratitude to Componix for designing and building this test fixture and for the help running this set of experiments. In the next video, we will show what can move the web, what can spread the web.